the silage is going to have two covers. It's going to have a thin white cover and then it's going to have a black plastic cover. Neither of these is actually meant for agricultural use. Um, it's just, it's just a model. So this one I've already, it, these are just plastic bags I got from the, uh, from the 99 cent store. I've already cut the, uh, that one off of there. I'm going to cut this one off of here now. Because I don't need those red straps getting in my way. really matter which way that we put the plastic on. Frequently, when you see this first layer being put on, it will come off a roll. Um, and they will roll, they will roll it out and then they will unfold it. I think I can do that. That way, yeah, sure. I do need to split the black plastic into two halves. Go. There's the white plastic. The black plastic needs to be in two halves because it needs to go over two sides of the clamp. Yeah, that should be pretty well. No, I better this way. Then two pieces. Fabulous. Well, let's go out and cover some silage. Alrighty. Very first thing I have to do is do place the grass. Now, I do want to see the difference between the long grass and the chopped grass. So, I'm going to put the long grass on this side. to do this in layers. I'm going to put the chopped grass over here. I guess I do need to push it down. I don't have a tractor, I don't have a roller, but I do have a bottle packed with as much dirt as I could get. for flattening. Of 
course this stuff at the end needs to be tidied up and put up here without the gravel. We do not want gravel or dirt in our cows and sheep's stomachs or goats. today. Oh, here's a bunch of, uh, here's a bunch of stuff that it's like bird nesting material with dirt in the middle, so I'm glad I caught that. I don't want that in there. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? This whole thing, I forgot to do the, uh, the plastic, didn't I? Well, that would be quite a disaster. I'll just have to re-roll it. There we go. And I think. Ooh, it is very long, isn't it? Much longer than I need it to be. Doubled up would be would be fine. Oh yeah, doubled up would be fine. Uh, very difficult to hold down in the wind. There we go. I'll just get that there. Go. there. Up there. And now we can keep on rolling. Ah. There. Stay in place. Stay in place. Just Stay there. Here we go. The chopped grass definitely rolls much easier than the long grass. I've been at this for about a half an hour now, and I've, I have run out of the long grass. Believe it or not, all I have left is the chopped. The chopped grass definitely compresses so much easier than the long grass. It's, 
it's so much easier to push down. And every once in a while, I've been going along with my fingers on the sides just to make sure that the sides are also packed down. Now, this is not easy at all to actually compress, period. Next time, I'll be making some changes to this. It was just the first thing I thought of, putting a bunch of dirt in it and packing it in as tight as I could. I'm just gonna put compress, I'm just gonna put the chopped grass on top until I'm done. I'm pretty close to being done. It is pretty much to the top now. I'm just gonna see if I can this down like so. Make sure that the edges are clear. I want to see the cement on the edges. And it's very, pa I can feel down below, it is very tight. Not quite as tight as I would expect a real silage clamp to be, but it is very tight. more of a roll here. Go. Usually, the white roll would be on a rod and it would be rolled out like this. So, and then you're gonna spread it out like this. There we go. Well, that fits pretty well. I don't like that. Again, try to keep the edges from getting any moisture. And the black plastic, which definitely would not be this big in real life, but We'll go with it. Now, there. Now I have to figure out some way of actually holding this in place. I think I'm gonna have to trim the edges here. These are just way too big. Um, well, I have plenty of rocks. All right, I have gotten what I can only describe as boulders. <laughs> what would a real farmer use to keep this black plastic in place? Well, uh, most of what I have seen has been tires, old tires, which is uh, to me a really, really bad idea. We need to be recycling those tires in a much better way than just using them for silage holders. I really like the very small tubes filled with gravel. Now, they're small, they're heavy, which is great. They can be hard to move. However, they are very easy to store. Today though, I'm just gonna make sure this is nice and tight and I'm going to use my boulders <laughs> lots of boulders actually I could hmm. 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 I think I'm gonna try this and see if it works. 
can just fold this like a parcel and flip. Maybe that'll help a little. Maybe. Looks like there's some there's some space right there though. I don't I don't really like that. So we're gonna have to put some weight down here. Let's see if I can. I'm not sure I really like. Yeah, it'll have to do for now. We'll leave one like this and one like this. We'll see how we get on. I'm thinking that maybe this side will do better. little boulders all over the place. Again, this this also provides weight to squoosh the oxygen down out of out of the grass. Let's see if I can find some more rocks. I found more rocks. I feel like I just need more. I don't want to take the chance. But eventually I gotta stop sometime, you know. Alright. There we go. I might want to think about just, you know, along the edges. The edges are where I seem to see on YouTube videos the most wastage. Okay. Well, I think I will leave it like this. There is our silage clamp. Packed and ready to sit. Is the silage clamp going to survive? the waterings, is it going to get warm enough to actually do some fermenting on the grass? And how long do I leave it? Well, the minimum I've seen is two weeks, but that's way too, that's way too short a time for me. I think I will leave it, let's see, now is June, July, August, September. October. I will consider this again in October, but we don't usually get cold and rain until a little after October. So maybe as long as November before I open this clamp. We'll just have to see how the weather changes. For now, this is the silage clamp based off of the arc silage clamp design.